All right, class. Let's see how well you understand basic arithmetic. First question, if I have two bottles and I add two more, how many bottles do I have in total? JJ, why don't you come up to the board and give it a try? Come on, JJ, I believe in you. Sure, I can do that. So, if I have two bottles and I add two more, I simply combine them. That means I take the two I already have and add the two new ones. So, two plus two equals four. It's really straightforward, but I always double check to make sure I'm right. Let's move on to the next question. If I have two multiplied by two, what is the answer? Mikey, why don't you give this one a shot? Four. Wait, is that right? I'm pretty sure it is, but I always get a bit confused with multiplication. I just hope I didn't mess it up. That's correct. You've got it. So, two multiplied by two does indeed equal four. It's great to see you engaging with the material, even if you're a little unsure sometimes. Thanks, teacher. I really appreciate it. I just love learning new things, even if I sometimes make silly mistakes. It's all part of the fun, right? Hey, JJ, you did an awesome job answering all those questions. You're definitely a math whiz. Thanks, Mikey. I really appreciate your kind words. Now, I have some exciting news. Since you've both done so well today, I'm allowing you to head outside for your art lesson. There's another teacher waiting for you, and I'm sure you'll have a fantastic time expressing your creativity in a different way. Wow, that sounds amazing. I can't wait to get outside and start painting or drawing. I love being creative, and it's always nice to have a change of scenery. I'm excited too, Mikey. Art is such a wonderful way to express ourselves, and I can't wait to see what we create together. Hello, Mikey and JJ. I'm glad to see you both here for our art lesson today. We're going to have a lot of fun. Today, we'll be drawing a little house, and I have a miniature model to show you as an example. Wow, that miniature house looks so cute. I can already imagine how I want to decorate my drawing. It's exciting to think about how we can each interpret the same model in our own unique ways. Exactly, JJ. Each of you will bring your own style to this project, and that's what makes art so wonderful. Remember to observe the miniature closely. Notice how the light hits it and creates shadows. You can use different colors to express your feelings about the house. Let your imagination run wild. I love that idea. I want my drawing to tell a story, and I think those details will really bring it to life. That sounds amazing, Mikey. Your creativity is really inspiring. It's all about creating a feeling with our art, and I'm excited to see how we both express that. All right, I'll leave you both to get started on your drawings. Wow, JJ, this miniature is so detailed. Look at the little windows and the way the roof slopes down. I can't believe how much I want to capture all of this in my drawing. I'm really excited too, Mikey. It's important to get the proportions right before diving into the details. I want to make sure my house looks just like the model. I think I'll try to make my house look a bit quirky. It'll be like my own little world. I'm really looking forward to adding some colors too. I want it to be bright and cheerful. A quirky house sounds like so much fun. I'll stick to a more traditional look for mine. I can already picture how it will turn out. I'm so excited to see how our drawings turn out. I'll try to keep my focus and not get too distracted. But knowing me, I might end up adding a few silly elements here and there. That's the spirit, Mikey. Just enjoy the process of creating. Remember, it's all about having fun and expressing ourselves. Let's see who can finish their drawing first, but don't rush it. I can't wait to share our creations when we're done. Wow, JJ, I'm really getting into this drawing. I can see my house taking shape, and I'm excited to add the colors soon. I'm making good progress too, Mikey. I wanna make sure everything looks just right. It's really fun to see how our visions differ even though we're working from the same model. All right, JJ, I think I'm finally done with my drawing. I can't wait to show you. I really tried to make it bright and cheerful. I hope you like it. I'm excited to see it, Mikey. I just finished mine too. Let's reveal them at the same time. That sounds great. On the count of three, okay? One, two, three. Wow, Mikey, your house looks so whimsical and fun. It really captures your personality. Well, well, what do we have here? A couple of wannabe artists? Look at this ridiculous setup. Who even cares about drawing a stupid little house? You two are just wasting your time. Yeah, seriously, what a joke. You think you're going to be the next Picasso or something? You're just making a mess. Why don't you pack it up and go home? Hey, why don't you just leave us alone? We're trying to have fun and be creative here. You don't have to be so mean. Just because you don't understand art doesn't mean we can't enjoy it. Mikey's right. We're just trying to express ourselves and enjoy our art. Oh, look at you standing up for your friend. How cute. But guess what? It's not going to help you. 
You guys are really mean. Why do you have to bully us? Because it's fun. And you two are just too easy to pick on. Let's go. This place is boring anyway. I can't believe they did that. I just wanted to have fun drawing. I know, Mikey. Don't let them get to you. Let's just focus on our art and forget about them. We can still create something amazing. You know, JJ, after everything that just happened with those bullies, I feel pretty stressed out. I think we could both use a break. How about we head to the cafeteria and grab something to eat? Exactly! I think some pizza or maybe a sandwich would really hit the spot. And we can find a nice table to sit at, away from all the chaos. Awesome! I'm feeling better already just thinking about it. Let's grab our things and head over to the cafeteria. I can't wait to enjoy some food and chat about our next creative adventure. Food and good company are the best remedies. Let's make the most of this break and recharge our creative batteries. Hello, boys. Today we only have Coke and a few leftover burgers. It's a Coca-Cola school after all. Hey, this Coca-Cola school is a joke. I've been eating this junk for a month, and I've got diarrhea that just won't go away. Enough of that. Get out of here. Don't bother my students with your nonsense. Mikey and JJ, just ignore him and take the food you want. Wow, that was unexpected. I can't believe he just barged in like that. But I guess it's good to know we're not the only ones feeling stressed around here. Yeah, it's definitely been a strange day. Let's just grab those burgers and some Coke. We can talk about everything while we eat. It'll help us relax. Great idea, JJ. Let's do it. I'm ready to enjoy some food and forget about all the craziness for a while. Mmm, this burger is actually pretty good. I didn't expect much from the cafeteria food, but I'm pleasantly surprised. And the Coke is refreshing, even if it's starting to get a bit boring. You know, JJ, I was thinking, what if we go to the Coca-Cola Museum nearby after this? It could be fun to learn more about it. That sounds like a great idea, Mikey. I've heard the museum has some interesting exhibits, and it would be a nice change of pace from school. Plus, it's part of the school program, so we won't get in trouble for going. It'll be nice to relax and learn something new. I'm sure there are some cool facts about Coca-Cola that we don't know yet. I can't wait! It'll be a nice break from all the stress we've had today. Plus, who knows? We might even learn something that could help us with our next art project. Wow! JJ, look at that giant glass cube over there! What do you think is inside it? It looks so intriguing! Let's check out that giant Coca-Cola bottle in the other glass cube. It's amazing how Coca-Cola has become such an iconic brand over the years. I can really appreciate the effort they put into making this exhibit visually appealing. Now, there's another room over there. Let's check it out. Let's go. I'm curious to see what's in there. I hope it's something cool. Wow, look at that. It's filled with colorful Coca-Cola bottles. They look so vibrant and fun. Just a few Coca-Cola bottles displayed on the shelves. It's simple, but I like how they've arranged them. Absolutely. It's a nice way to end the tour. Each bottle tells a story about Coca-Cola's evolution. I'm really glad we came here today. You know, Mikey, I'm starting to feel a bit bored here at the Coca-Cola Museum. It's interesting, but I think I've had enough of Coca-Cola for one day. Um, do you think so too? How about we go to a store nearby and grab something normal to eat? I could really go for some real food right now. But we just came from the cafeteria, JJ. We had burgers and Coke not long ago. Are you sure you want to leave already? I know, but honestly, I'm already tired of Coke everywhere. It's like it's following us. I just want something different, something that doesn't taste like soda. It'll be nice to have a change of pace. Great, I'm glad you're on board. I just need something that feels more like a meal. I think we'll both feel better after a little break from all this Coca-Cola. You know, JJ, when we first arrived at the Coca-Cola school, I thought it was going to be the coolest experience. Oh, I thought so too. I mean, everything being Coca-Cola themed sounded so fun. But now, it feels like it's just too much. I never thought I'd say this, but I'm kind of tired of all the Coke stuff. I completely agree, Mikey. I just want something simple and normal to eat. It's funny how quickly our excitement turned into boredom. Right? It's like we were so hyped about the theme, but now it's just overwhelming. I think we both need a break from all this Coca-Cola madness. I used to think it was cool to have everything Coca-Cola, but now I just want something that feels more like a real meal. It'll be nice to enjoy a meal that doesn't involve Coke for hey, Mikey, JJ. Oh, JJ, can we run away? I just wanted to say I'm really sorry for what happened before. I know we were really mean to you, and I regret it. I 
hope you can forgive us. Um, thanks for apologizing. I appreciate it, but it's hard to forget how you treated us. Yeah, it was really tough to deal with, but I can see you're trying to make amends. It's a step in the right direction. Oh, come on. Don't listen to her. You guys are still losers, and nothing's going to change that. Stop it. That's not fair. You don't have to keep bullying them. I'm trying to apologize. Whatever. You think saying sorry will fix everything? You're just wasting your breath. Actually, it's more than that. I've been going through a lot and I don't have anywhere to live right now. I just want to make things right. Wow, I didn't know that. It must be really tough for you. Yeah, we all have our struggles. If you're genuinely sorry, we can forgive you. Just remember to treat others better in the future. Thank you. I promise I'll do better. I really appreciate your forgiveness. Whatever, let's just go. You're wasting your time with them. Take care, guys. I hope things get better for you. Yeah, good luck. Just remember to be kind. You know, JJ, I can't stop thinking about that girl. It's really sad to hear she doesn't have a place to live. I wish there was something we could do to help her. I know what you mean, Mikey. It's tough to see someone in that situation. What if we built her a small house? It could be a fun project for us, and it might really help her out. That's a great idea. But where would we build it? We need a place that's safe and not in the way of anyone. What about right here in the parking lot? There are hardly any cars around and we wouldn't take up too much space. It could work. That could actually work. We could build a small cozy house for her. It wouldn't need to be huge, just something to give her a safe place to stay. Exactly. You know, JJ, as we start building this house, I can't help but imagine what it would be like if we actually lived here with her. I mean, what if I asked her to marry me one day? We could have a little family right here. Just think about it. Us living together with our kids. Whoa, Mikey, slow down there. I appreciate your enthusiasm, but let's remember why we're doing this. We're helping her because she needs it, not because we want something in return. Yeah, you're right. I guess I got a little carried away there. It's just that the idea of helping her makes me feel good, and I started dreaming a bit. But you're right. We need to stay focused on the task at hand. Exactly. We're doing something really meaningful here. Let's make sure we put all our effort into building her a nice home. That's what matters most. You're right, JJ. Let's keep our heads in the game and focus on making this house the best it can be for her. I'm really proud of what we're doing together. Me too! We're going to create something special for her and that's what really counts! You know, JJ, I can't help but think about how incredible that girl is. I mean, she's been through so much, yet she still had the courage to apologize to us. I really admire her strength and resilience. I get that, Mikey. But remember, you don't even know her name. It's great that you admire her, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. We're just helping her out right now, and we should focus on that. Yeah, I know. It's just hard not to think about how amazing she must be. I mean, anyone who can handle such tough situations and still be kind deserves a lot of respect. I hope we can get to know her better once we finish this house. That's true, Mikey. She does seem like a strong person. But let's keep our focus on the task at hand. Once we finish building, we can introduce ourselves and see where things go from there. You're right again, JJ. I just can't help but think about how much we could help her. I really want to make a difference in her life. And you are, Mikey. Building this house is a huge step. Let's keep our energy up and finish it strong. We'll make a real impact. Hey, JJ, I was thinking, since we're putting so much work into this house, do you think we could leave her some kind of message? Just something nice and encouraging, you know? I want her to know we care. I understand where you're coming from, Mikey. It would be nice to leave her a little message of encouragement, but let's keep it neutral and not too personal, okay? We don't want to come across as weird or make her uncomfortable. Definitely! I was thinking something simple. I think she'll really appreciate the sentiment behind it. I want her to feel welcomed and supported. Exactly. I know this message will mean a lot to her. It's a small gesture, but it shows we care and want her to feel at home here. I'm glad we're doing this together. It's been an amazing experience so far, and I know it will only get better once she moves in. I can't wait to see her reaction to the message. I hope it brings a smile to her face. Hey, everyone. We're so excited to finally show you the house we built for you. We really hope you love it. It's cozy and warm, just like we imagined it would be. Hey, we wanted to show you something. We built this house for you. It's not much, but we hope you'll feel comfortable and safe here. Oh my goodness. Really? You guys built this for me? It's amazing. I can't believe it. Thank you so much. What a joke. You really think this piece of junk is good enough? Let me show you how to really fix it up. Hey, stop it. 
Don't touch anything. This is perfect just the way it is. In fact, it's better than my old place. I love it. See? She loves it. I told you this was a good idea, Mikey. It's all about making her feel comfortable. You're right, JJ. And look, she even noticed the message we left for her. We love you. Right in the heart. I'm so glad she likes it. Whatever. It's still a piece of junk. I'm out of here. This is stupid. No, you're stupid. I love it. This is the nicest thing anyone has ever done for me. And I love you guys for doing this. Thank you. I'm in the store. I'll be back soon. Don't even hope. She won't come back to you. Wow, JJ. I can't believe she loved the house so much. I'm so glad we did this. I know, right? It was totally worth all the hard work. And did you see her face when she read our message? Priceless. But you know what, JJ? I'm starting to miss the Coca-Cola school a little bit. I know it was a lot of Coke, but it was kind of fun too. Haha, <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. I could definitely go for a Coke right about now.